I'm gonna show you guys how to cut the lace on your wig really simple without having to do all that extra okay <laughs> show you guys a really quick way to get a really natural looking hairline because when you look at this wig now don't get me wrong this is a good wig to start with especially because it's a beginner wig the hairline is already you know thinned out a little bit but the fact that it is completely straight across our natural hairline does not go completely straight across I know mine don't so I mean it does have its dips and turns here on the side you can see but mainly right here in the front is what I'm talking about that we want to get rid of. So I'm gonna show you a really quick trick or look for just a quick way that I like to get rid of that straight line. Mine is pretty much straight right here in the center, right in the center. And then kind of just dips off a little bit right on the side before you get to my temple. So for that, I park that out the way and we just gonna pluck it. We, we gonna get rid of it. We're gonna get rid of all this little bit of hair. Just like a strand or two, you go ahead. Now you see that? Already, look at the difference. I'm gonna go in and just pluck a little bit more. So that their hair, the hairline goes back a little bit. We want it to go back. We don't want it completely on our forehead. So I'm just plucking away a little bit in the front, right in the front, just to thin it out a little bit. See that? All right, looks good. I'm breaking up that line, you guys, because I still don't want that boxy look. So I'm going to just take that first line away so that it's kind of disappeared almost. Yeah, so we're just going to jump right into it. I got my boy cap on. Okay, looking real scalpish. Won't won't. Is this light too bright? I'm in my bathroom, so I'm trying not to be looking crazy. I've already off camera put a elastic band, okay? I have a video up. I did go ahead and just do the hairline because I'm gonna be wearing this glueless. So I always go ahead and do my hairline, like pluck it and do my baby hairs and everything prior to me cutting the lace so that I know exactly where everything is gonna lay and I can just cut the lace off as I go. I did not bleach no knots on this, nor have I even washed this, okay? And I normally always wash my wigs, but this time I didn't do that. I did extend the part a little bit. I made it a lot longer, because I wanted to look natural. So I did bring the part back a little further. how to do this the quickest and the easiest way personally for me I do not cut on a mannequin head so you will not catch me if you have caught me this was in the past we in 2018 I will not cut my lace on a wig that ain't gonna work I have to put it on my head and I cut accordingly and like this wig is gonna fit so snug y'all like mm, yep Boom, that fit. Boom, you good. Okay. I'm pinning the hair out the way so that you know what you're working with. So you can see. Just like that. See how this is coming over my ear? You can see my ear is right here. So you're going to always cut that part away. So you're going to cut that corner off. And don't cut your ear. It should come over your ear just like that. You just have lace literally from ear to ear. This is a little trick that I've kind of picked up over time. 
doing here and whatnot. So what I do is I cut my lace into sections. So I go right down the middle, just like that, okay? We're gonna go probably an inch over. If it's not an inch, it's okay. Just make sections and cut. Then I'm gonna go here and do it again. Continue that throughout the whole thing. Now you're part of what I'm like, Jasmine, why are you doing it like that? Like, why? The reason why I like to do this because especially when I'm laying my wigs down with um with adhesive or like glue, I like to be in control of exactly where that lace is laying. I'm not cutting straight across because when you when you cut straight across, your hairline is gonna look like a wig, okay? Because you have these sections, you pretty much can cut it very easily without basically messing up. I normally don't like to use a razor, but I don't, I don't have anything else. I'm pushing the baby hairs back and I'm literally am going to just trim away trying to zigzag. So I've cut off that first piece. And then you're gonna go in and do the same thing. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with the razor, you can do scissors. Just snip without trying to snip your skin and kind of go in an up, down, up down motion and try to mimic your own hairline you guys and I never just go all the way through with the scissors I'm literally just snipping away piece by piece that way you don't fuck up your hairline on your wig because once you cut the lace y'all y'all know that's it right ain't no returns on the cut lace wig man I don't know who do that I did not curl the hair additionally I just took my fingers and ran my hands through it taking some hairspray this is one of my signature units from my first wig. Super sexy lob. Fluffing out the curls, I love this bob. It's like a long, it's like a lob almost. Like a long bob with the loose curls and middle part. Like this is just perfect and I love it. Loving this, okay? So that's basically it, you guys. Really quick and simple. Um, if you have any questions, always, always, always leave them below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at MissJazz2Classy. And also make sure you follow my hair page at Classy Crowns, you guys. So be sure to check out the links below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe. And make sure y'all turn on y'all notifications because your girl don't upload a lot. So when I do upload, you won't miss a beat, okay?